Ronan McCarthy versus Stevie Dempsey. If Stevie wins, he is through. Three from three. If Ronan wins, it's three-way six red shootout time. As he, Stevie and Josh Duhaz will all have two wins and a defeat to their name. It's that simple an equation. Throw into the mix that Stevie can survive with a draw which is a big factor if this match stays tight the deeper we go especially with Stevie's match management try break from Ronan but not left anything nice on for Stevie big shot this in the opening frame miss means that Ronan has a chance now and a good chance to get off to a quick start here Ronan was so much better in his second match than he was his first in his first he was awful we know he's not feeling anywhere near 100% at the moment he told us as much and it's pretty obvious as well if you, you know Ronan to any level he'd he is suffering out there, but he played with a great freedom in his second match, and he played so much better for it. I wonder. Yeah, he's got a nice angle now just to track up for the two at the top of the table. Be interested to see how he goes from the two at the top to the two in the middle. If he comes down for the red to right center, he has to land nicely to hold red left center and get on the eight ball. I wonder if he'll play for it long. No, he won't. I think he's got the, the angle to get down nicely on it. May not go to the bottom right as well, which is a factor. But he has played for it to the corner. This is really interesting. Play for it for the corner, you've got so much more margin of error to get the nice angle on the, the red to left centre. If you come down for that red into the middle, you've basically got to land straight. Maybe just off straight the wrong way, but I think he can straight enough just to top past the yellow and have the eight ball bottom right. Has he got there? God, it's, mm. it's a poor one if he's not got there. It really is. He's down on the shot. Looks like he's playing centre of the cue ball. He got there okay. He got there okay. Heart of the pocket. He's falling as a wall. He now he had that. Fantastic result recently in his big challenge match against Sean Story. Played unbelievably well in that. So four fantastic players. There can only be one, as always. Better chance this time for Stevie. Good break. Probably has to go yellows. Red at the top of the table. Or you could go reds, but how are you dealing with that one? Yellows, less problems to deal with. Now you could play yellow off red. Now, do you play it firm and, and send the red down into the yellow to knock the yellow down the cushion, or, or do you play it delicately and, and try and keep it cleaner? You know, he is looking at that. He is looking at just moving that yellow down. This can go wrong. Yeah, he's happy with that. That's fine. Now becomes his last ball for the eight ball. Not a huge amount of room to play on it, but it, there is enough to play on it to right centre. Got to be careful not to leave too much angle. 
on this next one. Straight's perfect. Leaves it too high, then it's hard to connect. Is that too high? Can he just pinch the pocket enough? I think he can. Play it off the thick part of the jaw. And just let the cue ball just turn down a couple of rolls. Like that. Another lovely visit to the tail from Stevie D, who's just warming up, you feel like. He looked a bit sketchy skittish at the start of the night but since match two he's he's looked pretty razor sharp in truth cracking break from Ronan deserves a ball not gonna get one yeah it really was flushed from Ronan Stevie almost ran to the table there He'd love for one of these two reds that he's nearest to to go to top left now. Oh, they do. They do, which is good for him. Yeah, ter terrific news if uh, Stevie Dempsey fans. Yeah, and this, this is now a very gettable chance. Yeah, this is nice because he can now get across for the other one in the top half of the table. Is the does the red that's sort of just to the right of the triangle area. Can you make the plant on that one? What do you need to get that to another pocket? Yellow's half in the way. That's what he's kind of looking at now. I think I'd like taking the one to top right now, using the one nearest the bottom left-hand corner as my connection to the one on the bottom cushion and leave a high angle and then you can just come on off and just target that yellow. And you'd have the, the red into the center on, and the corner. He's got that option now if he wants to. He is eyeing up the plant, but Doesn't have to play it. If it's on, it makes it easier. Oh, it is on. Well, wow, wasn't expecting that. He had to get close to the yellow. He missed the yellow by quite a distance. It yeah. was on, it, it was one of those that was tight. And if he's right behind it, he's not gonna miss it. But he didn't have to play it, so it's a surprise if he wasn't 100% that he's, he's missed it by quite a long way. Could be a huge, huge moment in the context of the evening. Ronan McCarthy, not the only person to see. It's pleased to see Stevie miss that one. Josh Juhas were also been celebrating. Stevie will get back to the table though. Yeah, it was diff very difficult for Ronan. He's attacked his bad ball straight away and, and knew he had to try and take it on. If he gets it in, he expects to win the frame off it, but didn't get particularly close to it. Oh, he's going to get another chance Ooh, though. Yeah, he will. That's a better chance. to have just nudged into those yellows but won't make a huge amount of difference. I think they both go. Certainly one of yeah. them does and once one goes the other one goes so that's perfect for him. Mm, 
Is that? Well, he needs the top one to go. It's hard to take the bottom one in and then leave a good angle on the la on the next yellow. Yeah, he hasn't left a good angle. So he's got to force it across the table. He's not going to. He's going to have to leave it above the right centre pocket. Oh, he just forced it as much as he could. He played that off the jaw, and he's done very well to get there. to be sure of his cue ball. And he can control it. And he's played that well. Those are the sorts of eight balls that you just never really see Ronan miss. Half second that was going to end up dry when you didn't hear the sort of the instant crashing of the pockets. But Stevie does indeed get his opportunity. It's come out awkward though. Red and yellow together, top left. Make it tricky. He's got to try and figure out how he pops them open. Doesn't really have a red on, so it will be yellows. Okay, so that's a good shot. So he's just pushed that yellow further forward. So now we can go right centre, leave the angle on the yellow to left centre to go up and develop his bad ball. I think he's straight enough that he can just drop it in. Josh Yu has in the corner of Ronan McCarthy. Very much cheering him on. Yeah, he's just left enough angle. It looks a little straight, but I'm sure he can force it. Well, decided he couldn't. What's the plan now? Okay, so he's coming down the table and he wants to leave the thin edge. I think the problem is whether yellow is over the middle now. He could have forced it, but he couldn't use the pocket because that yellow was blocking the left-hand jaw. He hasn't come far enough. Looks like he has from the overhead. Main camera looks like he hasn't. Yeah, I don't think he's not on that. Play the loss of turn. Maybe leave it as tough as you possibly can for Ronan. I would like to have got a little bit further behind that red, but... He's put the pressure on at least. Ronan will get an opportunity here. Fifteen second shot clock. This is now where the night gets decided. Oh, what a shot, Ronan. What a shot to pull out there. Oh, that's huge. What that. a time to do it. That really is huge. And this red does go in the middle. Absolutely brilliant from Ronan McCarthy. And the chips are down. He has come out fighting. to finish. Stevie Dempsey, remember, just needs the draw. He's not out of this yet. We've seen stranger things happen, but he will have to do it from quite a way behind. As Rhoda McCarthy goes 3-1 in front. 
with 2 minutes and 45 seconds. Oh, what a time to hit that break, Cronin. He's hit the break well tonight. He really he has. has. He really has. Oh, he's not left the pot on, though. He's been a touch unfortunate. I mean, he's can, he can pot the yellow down the table, but you're not going anywhere after that. So, you know, you can't run the clock down enough. So, yellow is the choice. He's looking at the loss of turn here and just shell up a little bit. Yeah, or is he going for it? That's what I was thinking he might do. I don't think he's going to finish at all. Has he worked it out? Can he pot enough balls to stop Stevie from having a chance? I don't think he can, really. I mean, there's still over one minute 50 left, so there's only one more ball left in the open. I feel like Stevie's going to get to the table. Is this a shot? Oh, that's going to hang in the pocket. So, Stevie Dempsey, with not much time to work, 90 seconds to be precise. He needs two frames. A draw, remember, sends him through. Well, if he can play the breakout here, it's all on. Oh, we missed it. Missed the yellow. I'm trying to get it off the top cushion with just a trace aside. That's put an end to it, really. Stevie Dempsey shakes hands and says we'll settle it with a six red. Here goes Ronan McCarthy for take one. That is a lovely break. Just had to wait a couple of extra seconds there for the cue ball to stop, but it was a nice break. Maybe just a touch over hit with that ball going to the left-hand side. Didn't love that choice of shot. It's running on him a little bit. Oh, he's broken it out. What a shot that is, Ronan. Has to take it long, nails it. So Stevie Dempsey has 28.92 to beat to stay in it, but he still has to go quick because Josh Yu has, still has to come. It's a lovely break. Stevie's on the wrong end of a six red shootout recently. He's looking to make amends here. Oh, if he runs round to, yeah, he should have got there, but while it was moving, oh no. He's going to play a shot. This is a big pot. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant pot. Oh, that miss to the corners cost him three or four seconds. That's cost him a time that would have been seriously tough to beat. I mean, he's obviously not Ronan out here. 25.2 to beat for a spot in the last, the second stage of the Champions League. They've come out beautifully for him. Those reds going together aren't a problem. They go independently. It's going to be tight. If he doesn't miss, you feel like he's got it. Two shots away. This is it. Steady yourself. Josh Dew has, has done it. What a result for the underdog. And he's absolutely over the moon with that as well he should be. The rank outsider comes through via a three-way six-red shootout against two ultimate pool champions.